Hi everyone. Working on writing linear equations today and there are two forms of linear equations that we'll discuss. The first form is called a standard form. And ax, a is the coefficient of x, plus by, b is the coefficient of y, equals c, which is some constant. And a, b, and c are integers. When you want to write it in that way, you can make it so that you're not dealing with fractions or decimals or anything. You can create it so it's in that form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. So those are the two forms. There is a point-slope form, but we're not going to discuss that one. Okay, let's deal with, this is an equation that is in standard form. 5x minus 4y equals 17. Now we're going to graph that equation. We're going to use the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And I like to do this. I like to set up a little table here. Here's x, here's y. Now I want to use the x-intercept. Well, the x-intercept is where does it hit the x-axis? So somewhere along here. The y-coordinate of the x-intercept is 0. So basically, I want to solve the equation 5x minus 4 times 0 equals 17. Well, that basically falls out. So 5x equals 17. I'll divide by 5. And x is equal to 17 divided by 5. 5 times 3 is 15 and 2 fifths. I think you'll find that to be 3.4. So when y is 0, x is 3.4. That is the x-intercept. Now, when x is 0, we'll be on the y-axis. So we'll do the same thing. Remember when we put that 0 in for x, or in for y, it just disappeared. So if we put the 0 in for x, we're basically solving the equation negative 4y equals 17. And then we'll divide by negative 4. So 17 divided by 4. 4 times 4 is 16. This is a y here. 4 times 4 is 16. So it's 4 and 1 fourth. And it's negative. Positive divided by negative is negative. So it's negative 4 and 1 fourth. I'll put 0.25. Negative 4.25, we'll just stay at the decimals. So to graph that, x is 3.4, 1, 2, 3, uh, 0.4 is right there, a little less than halfway. That is the x-intercept, 3.4 right there. And y is negative 4.25, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and a quarter. Negative 4.25 is right there. And then we will just connect those two with a line. So that is using the y-intercept and the x-intercept to graph. The next example, we got some more examples, says write an equation in slope-intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b for the line that has slope negative 2 and passes through 3, 7. Okay, well, this is an x value, this is a y value, and this is the slope value. That is the m. I'm going to put the m right there. The x value I have is 3, the b value I don't have, and we're going to solve for it, and the y value is 7. So we have everything. We had a y, we had an x. There's many y's and x's that work with, together, but these are two specific ones that work together. And we're going to solve for b by adding 6 to both sides, and 13 is equal to b. So my equation is y equals m, which is negative 2, x, plus b, which we just solved for, to be 13. Now I wanted to take a look at that. If I have 3, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and my slope is negative 2, I will go down 2 units and over 1. 
go down two over one. Well, let's do the same thing over here. Up two over one, up two over one, up two, and I'm off the grid, I know. Over one is right here. Now, is that, and then, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I am hitting right where we said we should. So y equals negative 2x plus 13 is that one. Okay, third example. What is the equation of this graph? Well, one of the things I'm going to look for is that point right there and that is the y-intercept and that is negative 2. Remember y equals mx plus b. Well, I know the minus 2 part. The x is going to stay as a variable. Now if I can find that m, m is the slope. I got a rise of 1 and a run of 2. Up 1 over 2. The slope to me looks like 1 half. So I'm going to put 1 half in front of the x. I got y equals 1 half x minus 2, or 1 half x plus negative 2. All right, fourth example. A line passes through 2, 6, and negative 5, negative 1. Find its equation. A line passes through 2, 6, and 5, negative 1. So, I do know m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to go find the slope. And then I'm going to use one of these points and do it like we did our second example, I believe. But let's find the slope first. Negative 1 minus 6. Negative 1 minus 6 over negative 5 minus 2. Negative 1 minus 6 is negative 7. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1. So the slope is 1. You have a choice now. You can use these two for x and y, which is probably what you want to do since they're positive, or you could use these two for x and y. But we're going to put it into y equals mx plus b, knowing that m is 1. I'm going to use x is 2 and y is 6. So I'm using these two for x and y. I could use these two. doesn't matter. And then I'm going to solve for b. 2 plus b is equal to 6. Oops. Sub subtract 2 from both sides. You've got b equals 4. So my equation is y equals 1x. I'm not going to write the 1. Plus 4. Now, as I look at that, Let's graph that and just see if it checks out. 2, 6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is right there. Negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1. Now, let me get a straight edge here. I want to do a little better on my line here than I have been. And draw through there. Okay. Up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. It looks like the slope is 1, so I'm happy with that. 1, 2, 3, 4, that is the y-intercept, and that matches our equation. So the graph is consistent with the equation from what we've said. Now, let's look at this final example. A line passes through 2, negative 2, and is perpendicular to the graph of x plus 5y equals 6. Find its equation. Alright, well I have an x and a y, so I'm going to go y equals mx plus b again, but I don't know what m is yet. And our clue is in here. If I could find the slope of this, well, I am going to solve for y. Because every time I see slope intercept, I see y equals mx plus b. And I have a feeling that 
And when I subtract x, that if I get y by itself, I divide by 5, e divide everything by 5, y is equal to, and I'm going to write this as negative 1 fifth x, negative x over 5. Need to see if you're okay with that being negative 1 fifth plus 6 fifths. All right, I don't even care that much about that one. What I'm really interested in is this value right here, which is the slope. The equation we're looking for, though, is of the line is perpendicular to that line. Well, if this is the slope, if that's the perpendicular slope, negative one-fifth, then the slope of our line, we're going to flip this over and put five over one, and we're going to change it from negative to positive. So the slope here is five. We are in business now y equals mx plus b, y is negative 2, m is 5, x is 2, and I can solve for b, and I have negative 2 equals 10 plus b, I can subtract 10 from both sides, I got negative 12 equal to b, and my equation is y equals 5 from the slope, x minus 12 from the y-intercept. And that is all I have for you.